Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Came to my attention this morning that a number of days have elapsed without me talking on YouTube about the my beloved M discs. So I figured I'd have to uh, fix that situation. I'm just kidding, of course, but I do um, thoroughly believe in the M disc as an amazing uh, technology, incredible form of archival storage. And if you're really thinking about investing in MDisc, as I am thinking about for the next, you know, probably five or 10 years for my video backup, you might have seen mentioned on Reddit or um, the other forums where people talk about this form of super geeky optical media that, well, MDiscs are more expensive than Blu-rays and they are more expensive, but I wanted to figure out exactly how much more expensive. So that's uh, what today's video is going to be about. It's a cost comparison between the M-Disc and uh, Blu-ray. So I'm just gonna firstly grab, uh, grab some data and I'm showing the workings just to show that everything is transparent on the recording date, which is, you can see popped up, popped up on my calendar here, the 14th of uh, June 22, that's when I'm recording this. So we're gonna take as our benchmark for the price of M-Discs at the time of writing. Um, this product, it's slightly more expensive than the um, than the ones that, it's slightly more expensive than the ones that you can print on for some reason. And it's uh, $65 for a 25 pack of 25 gigs. So I'm just going to put this screen down here. This is all done uh, manually in OBS and I'm gonna make this big. This is where I'm gonna be plucking in the figures here. So it's 25 M-Discs and 25 gigs per disc. So our total capacity equals A2 times uh, B2, which is 625 gigs. That 625 gigs costs $64.99 USD. And we can get the price per gigabyte uh, by dividing the price. So that's gonna be equals D2, the price over the capacity over C2. And that comes out to, uh, and I'm just gonna zoom in so all these numbers uh, are a bit easier to see. This comes out to uh, 10 cent per, uh, per gigabyte, which sounds about right to me. And you can reverse that if you wanna just check that figure. 625 gigabytes, we said, multiplied by um, 0 0.103 rounding. And that comes to 64.375, which is very, very close. Uh, I didn't do the last three decimal places, so it's not exact, but it's, yeah, so that's correct. So it's um, 10 cent, 10.3 cents to be exact per gigabyte for M-Discs. And now let's go back to our Amazon uh, page here and let's find a Blu-ray. So I'm just gonna type in Blu-ray. And again, I'm not gonna look for the cheapest uh, one, so I'm gonna go blank, because I'm gonna, it seems like I'm not uh, getting the right thing here. So there's um, optical quantum. I'm going to do verbatim just to compare like with like. And these Blu-rays tend to come in bigger packs. So you can see this is a 50 pack. Uh, it's a 50 pack of 25 gigabytes, and it comes in at 40 bucks. So we can already see uh, that it's gonna be uh, quite a bit cheaper, but let's see exactly how much cheaper. So uh, we're gonna be getting here 50 discs in the spindle. Actually, let's do the 25 spindle as our comparison. That brings the cost down to, uh, wow, $19.99. That's quite substantially discounted, but so is the 50 pack. So um, we'll go ahead with, with, that, with this price point. So we're getting 25 discs the capacity per disc is 25, so that's gonna be getting us 625 again, but the price here is $19.99, so our uh, cost per, per gigabyte is going to be uh, equals D3 over C3, and the figure we're going to get is uh, three cents per, uh, per gigabyte, so 10.3 cents per, 10 po I'm gonna do two decimal places actually, so it's 10. Point um, let's just do one, 10.3 cents per gigabyte for the M-Discs, and it is uh, 3.2 cents per gigabyte for the, um, for the, for the Blu-rays. And we can actually get, calculate the exact uh, number here or the exact difference by dividing equals E2 over uh, E3. 
So it's 3.2511. It's three times more expensive. Uh, 3.25 times is the muzzleblower, 325% the M-Disc. So over three times more expensive uh, to purchase M-Discs for storing your data on versus storing, um, uh, versus uh, just using regular Blu-rays. Now in terms of workings, I'm just gonna show you a few workings, data pool, and we're gonna have here, M-Disc, um, Blu-ray, and difference. So I'm just gonna give you a few different scenarios depending how much data you're storing. So if you're storing 500 gig gigabytes of data, let's do one terabyte of data, that's gonna be a thousand gigs of course. And let's then take five terabytes, or a really, really big data pool. So if you're doing 500 gigs of data, storing those on M-Disc, so that's gonna be equals 500 multiplied by the price per gigabyte of M-Disc, which is 0 0.10, uh, four rounding, that's going to be $52. Uh, $52. Um, and for Blu-ray, it's going to be equals uh, 500 times uh, 0 0.032, and that's going to come in at $16. And the price difference is going to be equals uh, 52 minus 16. So if you're storing 500 gigs of data, again, there might be a couple of rounding errors in these numbers. I'm pretty sure I did those that mathematics correct, but it's not a huge difference. It's 36 gigs more expensive to uh, store on M-Disc. And obviously this is this is going to be, this uh, difference is gonna get bigger as we continue the multi multiplication sum. So one terabyte, and I can actually be a little bit a little bit smarter here, equals 1,000 times. May as well get the exact exact uh, price, price per gigabyte. And that was four equals E2. Uh, so that'll be 103, I'm just gonna write myself a note. This is M-Disc, this is uh, Blu-ray. So 103 or $104 rounding off here. Uh, we'll round off these figures to the nearest dollar for the M-Disc. And it's gonna be 1000 times uh, E3 for the Blu-ray. That's gonna come out to uh, $32 rounding. And the difference here is gonna be uh, 104 minus 32. So if you're storing a terabyte data pool, it's a $72 difference, $72 more expensive uh, to uh, go for M-Discs. And let's now extend that to five terabytes. Well, we can just, it's pretty, we'll just multiply this to keep the, just to keep things simple, 72 times five, 360. So you can see as your data pool expands, the, um, the differential of M-Disc over Blu-ray is going to expand as well. Well, I would contend that it's not really that big per terabyte, it's a $72 investment. Uh, if you're only storing 500 gigs, it's $32, $36, I'm sorry. I would contend that it's not really a huge difference if you have a you know consumer size data pool, uh, $72 extra per terabyte uh, to get it on a, what should be a superior form of optical storage that will uh, outlast uh, regular Blu-rays, which are not designed for cold storage and archival. So personally, from my perspective, if you're investing in good data protection and good good archiving, I don't think that that differential is unreasonable. I think it's worthwhile. I'm personally planning on using M-Discs uh, over Blu-ray because I just don't think it's worth skimping on these figures, 36 and 72. But of course, everyone's situation is different, uh, but those are what the numbers come out to anyway. Hope these uh, mathematics or sums were useful if you are in the market for uh, archiving your data on optical media and you're not sure whether M-Discs or uh, Blu-rays are the way to go. You've heard that M-Discs are more expensive, you're not sure how much. Just to reiterate the main data points here, M-Disc is, uh, judging by today's Amazon price, price as a surrogate for the market price, M-Disc is about 3.25 or 325% uh, percent more expensive than uh, the regular Blu-rays. And those differences over in a data, data pool of 500 gigs, it's gonna work out to be a $36 difference. A terabyte, 72 bucks, and if you're up to five terabytes, that's gonna be 360. We may as well do the petabyte, so that's gonna be a thousand times, um, just for the sake of it. That's going to be seven, just, I wanted to make sure I got all the zeros right there. $72,000 if you're up to the petabyte scale. So I've never heard of anyone using uh, optical media for storage on that kind of massive volume, but it just shows you how the differences are pretty manageable when you're in uh, consumer land. But as you get, as you start getting up to enterprise grade uh, storages, suddenly we go from a difference of you know 36 bucks if you're storing 500 gigs 
to a price difference of $72,000, almost, almost a six figure sum uh, if you're storing at the petabyte level of scale. Thanks for watching guys, more videos coming soon. Have a great day.